Round number seven underway for Juan Manuel Lopez and Steven Luevano. Let's check in with our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. Okay, Bob. 59, 55, five rounds to one, Juan Manuel Lopez. Bob, I think that, uh, well, round five, Steven Luevano just outfought Juan Manuel Lopez. Had a real good round, but other than that, it's still Juan Manuel Lopez landing a power shot. He lands right hooks. He lands oh, right hooks. Look, oh. look at that right hook. I mean, he's stacking him with that right hook. That's why he's winning this fight. And down goes Luevano. be able to recover from this. And Benji Esteva stops it. Maybe not as spectacular as Gamboa, but considering what was in front of him, Juanma may have had the better win tonight. You know, stars make fights, and, you know, they both have ter terrific performances, and, uh, you know, this is the way you want a fight to end. You, you want to go in there, work, and obviously this is the way the script that you want to play for yourself to end out. You want to become victorious after your fight. Well, I talked about earlier, Gamboa threw his score up. Lopez said, here are my burdens. Well, he was playing a much tougher course. May have not shot the same, but it was a much tougher course. Only the second loss in the Webino's career. First time he's been stopped. And in his sixth title defense, Luevino loses his belt to that man. Juan Manuel Lopez finding it featherweight after moving up from 122. Pretty spectacular at 126. Nice. Let's take a look at the end of the fight and how Lopez finally finished him off. Well, you know, Lopez really broke him down with a number of different punches. And, you know, it all starts with that uppercut. And there you see it. And he wasn't, whoever wasn't re able to come back after that uppercut because he was hurt. Yeah, we saw him use the uppercut two rounds ago. Hadn't used the punch a lot. We're going to take another look at it, but it's perfectly placed. Well, it was a good punch. Um... You know, like I said, he wasn't able to recover from that. Most boxers could recover from that, you know, because they have that toughness. But, you know, he got caught with a couple of extra punches there, and that really put the icing on the cake. Yeah, the uppercut hurt him, then the right hook, and then the left cross. And Luevino was done, and Juanma gets win number 28, stoppage number 25. And it takes care of business in round number 7. You know, Lopez really put a good repertoire of punches together, and, you know... You can't be a counterpuncher in there. You have to go out there and try and knock out the guy. Not say to yourself, well, I want to go out there and box him because the other guy's trying to knock you out. And you don't get paid for overtime. Let's get the official time of the stoppage once again to the ring and Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest comes to an end at 44 seconds of round number seven. The winner by TKO victory, now a two-time world champion and new WBO featherweight champion of the world, Juan Manuel, Juan Manuel Lopez. Great sportsmanship there by Luevino. He went and he pointed right to Juan Manuel Lopez's chest like this was the better man tonight. And Juan Ma takes... His 126-pound belt. Let's take a look at the punch stats. And as this 